it's Kay, just, in, just me in front of the camera and um, I'm going to show you how to make one of our one to our scale little scenes and this is our, gar uh, our garden bench or seaside bench as this one is this one's been decorated by Faye and we've got fish and chips and we've got a greedy seagull who's got his beady eye on them I think so anyway you can make, decorate these as you like so she's done like a beach scene with water behind as you can see and this one is more of a derelict garden and then use some pot plants at the side and with a damaged um, brick wall behind. Okay, so that was the one. I decorated that one. So, put that one there. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to put together our garden bench. So you get four sides, and as you can see, you've got sides with little teethy bits in there. So these ones go on top, like that, and you glue them together, and then when they're done, they fit like that. So you make sure that they fit on the right side. Okay, so the little bits with the teethy bits on the inside and they're opposite each other. Okay, so we're going to glue those together. So we'll do that first. So I'm using our Cool Cats Craft Book Binding Glue. Good glue. So any good quality PVA glue, which this is, will do. We'll be, these are, this is ideal, but any good, good acrylic glue will be fine. Um, or you can use a wood glue or a specialist MDF glue if you like. So just make sure that they're all together and they're all nice and directly on top of each other. Okay, so that's one. And this is the other one. That's where that one. So again, it helps if you, you, it's difficult to say, but you want just enough glue. So you don't want too much that's gonna go everywhere, but you want enough just for, for it to stick. So putting too much glue is counterproductive because it just makes a horrible mess. And it doesn't stick as quite as well as putting just the right amount on. So again, that is like that. So you can see, so you've got little teethy bits on the other side and there. So when I put my seat things on, they're going to fit nicely. So I'll just make sure they're nice and... That's it. Okay, so at this point, if you wanted to, you could probably just let these set for a few minutes, which would be helpful. But as I'm, for the sake of the video, I should just keep going. There we go. Okay, so what you're going to do now is get a piece of our soft pour orange tape and you're going to put a little bit on there, so stick it on like that. Okay, and then you're going to have another piece ready for in a minute. And then you're going to get your back and you're going to stick your back on here like that. So it's going to fit, lift that up. It's going to fit into there like that and it's going to stick into the back and you're going to lift the tape up so it sticks onto the sides as well. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that into place. So I'm going to put some glue, glue bit in, the bit, in these bits. And so it doesn't matter which way around it goes. I think I've got that the other way around, so I'm going to go there. So I'm just going to fit that in like that and then lift the tape up and just secure it a bit, just manipulate it so it just stays in place. Okay, and then we're going to do the same for the other side. So I'm going to put a bit of tape on here, on this side, like that, and I'm going to put a bit of glue on those inner bits. Okay, and I'm going to turn this over, and then I'm going to put the back in like that. Okay, and then I'm going to use a tape, Oops, take that excess glue out because that's far too much glue. So I'm just saying not do, not do, don't do too much in, that's the reason why, because it just goes everywhere. And just squidge that in. Okay, and then just leave that to one side just for a sec. And then these are your seat pieces. So just, they're tabbed in, so you could, you could just probably just push these out. If not, you have to cut them out with a knife, but it should be fine just to push out. So what you'll do now, it's still a little bit sensitive, so what you're going to do is glue along those pieces on the inside on here, on both sides. So, so I'm putting a little bit too much glue on, but it does mean that you can see what I'm doing. Let's see on the other side. So I have 
I've put too much on, but it doesn't matter. So just keep, square that up. And then the, then the back one is manipulate it and then just press that in place. Sit that in there, whoops, and there. Okay, at this side it is quite fragile and just make sure that it fits in like that. Okay, so that squares that up like that. Okay. And then you'll just carry on and work forward with your seat slats and just keep pushing it in because it has a, a tendency to bow that way and you just want it to keep it in so it's nice and square. Okay, so just push that in and it just slots in. Going. Last few. Like that. And then the last one just fits in. Like that. So then you can just take any excess off with your finger or the brush. And the brush might be easier to get your, fing get your fingers in here. Okay, like that. And what I'm going to do now is going to get a piece of tape and put it over here and just keep that nice so it's nice and square. So let's put that up. And that'll go across there. A little bit of tension and just keep it in place. And make sure everything's nice and square. And then we just leave that until the glue dries, which will be, I'll give it a good hour or so. And that is your, and then that is your bench there. But while that's drying, you can be doing your other seam. So because it's a, it's a bench seam, you get a base and a back. So you just glue these together. So all you need to do is put glue on the any bits on here, like that. And then what I would suggest I'll probably do is put something against it which is square so it just stays in place. So it stays square. But while that's drying, and you've got your glue in there, and then that is your bench all ready to decorate. So it's quite a simple thing to do. Uh, but you can have lots of fun decorating it, putting what scenes you like at the back. It'd be fantastic. Okay, thank you for watching.